Stop planning. Stop planning and start executing. Just do it. You're not learning anything by gaining more information because the information that you're gaining won't even really be useful in the execution because understanding something and embodying it and becoming it and taking action with it are two different things. Hey guys, so my name is Charisma Clark. I'm so happy you decided to click on this video. I'm a feminine personal development life coach. For women, I help you manifest your deepest desires and become the absolute highest version of yourself. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about procrastination, the ultimate devil probably, the one thing that so many people struggle with. It seems to be the biggest barrier between the actual dream and the idea so it seems to be stuck in between you actually thinking and planning and putting all this thought and effort and actually executing and taking action so procrastination actually can show up as so many different things and that's what i'm going to talk about in today's video so a lot of people when they think of procrastination they obviously think of like stalling like pausing like hold on like laziness almost so like let's say you have like a paper to do or a paper to write and you said you would get up at five and go and write the paper but it's 6 30 and you've been watching euphoria so that is like a form of procrastination but what they don't know and what you probably don't know is that procrastination actually shows up in many different forms and it's very sneaky, it's very devilish, and it's very naughty. And I want to talk to you on how you can recognize this, how I recognized it, and how we can get rid of it. The biggest place that procrastination shows up for people, not only in the typical laziness, like, oh, I was supposed to do something at five and it's 6.30 or seven, but in planning, in planning, so when I was super into starting businesses, closing them, starting another business, closing them, starting another business, closing them, when I was going through this back and forth with these businesses that I were having over the last few years that I've learned is I would get so stuck in the planning. Like I'd have a business idea. I was like, oh, this is great. And intellectually and on a mental level, I saw the numbers, I did the math, I did the research, and it made sense. This is something that I could do. It costs X amount to start up. These are all the tools that I need. This is what I basically like a full spreadsheet. And I would have that spreadsheet and I typically write it in a Google Doc and nothing would ever happen. I would stay on the Google Doc because I felt like, oh, I just need more, I just need more, I just need more, I just need more. And what I didn't realize was needing more information is a form of procrastination. Planning, being too heavy in the planning state before execution is a form of procrastination. Because what I was doing is I was afraid to execute. I was afraid to fail. I feel like I needed more information. No, I need to buy this course and this course first. And the truth is, is know enough to launch and then launch. Like know, like when you get in the car, you know, okay, I'm gonna get in the car, I'm gonna open the door. I know I have to open the door. I know I have to sit in the seat. I know I have to put my seatbelt on. I know like this is the wheel, this is the gas, this is the brake. This is the, whatever this is called, the controller, whatever. I don't even know what that's called. The gift, the shift gear, whatever. Drive, reverse, neutral. I know all of that. Let's go. Okay, that was a bad example because you probably should get your permit. But you guys see what I'm saying. So you're not going to know everything that you need to know about anything in the beginning. I still expand and learn so much about personal development, 
about fitness, about becoming my best and highest self, spiritually, like it's just never ending. You're never gonna stop being a student. But being so heavily in the planning stage, it's like a setup. It's literally like a setup because you just feel like you need more and you need more and you need more and you need more. And the truth is you don't need anything. The truth is you need to take action. Planning in the planning stage, that's not action. Action is you going out there and doing it. Even when before I got into my fitness journey, I would research all of these like fitness health plan and say, okay, I need, to, well, I can't work out yet. I can't work out yet because I need to write a list of groceries first. I need to have them organized by breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, poultry and chicken and, you know, dairy. I need to have everything on a spreadsheet. I need to, okay. And once I have that, no, 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 I can't work out yet. Okay. I need to learn about like different exercises. Um, no, I can't work out yet. I need to get like the proper gym form because I'm going to be working out like six times a week now. So I'm going to need six pairs of leggings and I'm going to need six pairs of these tops. And you know what? I can't wear the same sneakers every day at the gym because that is just a no. So you know what? I need like two to three pairs of sneakers. Okay. Can't go to the gym yet. Can't go to the gym yet. Okay, I also need to research the gyms. I need to write a list. Like this, this is like the, this is like, okay, this is what I was doing and this is what I see so many people doing. Stop planning. Stop planning and start executing. Just do it. You're not learning anything by gaining more information because the information that you're gaining won't even really be useful in the execution. Because understanding something and embodying it and becoming it and taking action with it are two different things. The high school and the college professors teaching business classes are not the same as learning from an Elon Musk or a Jeff Bezos. Those are two different things. Your college business professor does not know how to run a successful business. They know how to teach it. They know how to teach the elements of it. But going out and executing is a completely different skill set. If not, they wouldn't be teaching you. They would be running a multi-million dollar business. They wouldn't be in being a, a professor. Let's be honest here. The no, no shades professors. But I'm just saying, the information that you're gaining now, it won't even be useful. It may be. A lot of it may be. But there's so many different skill sets that's to be learned in the execution. That is where the real sauce and magic happens. It doesn't happen with overly planning something and being like obsessed with the planning. And then it's like a form of procrastination and it becomes like a form of fear. And then you're like scared to do it. So you stay in the planning because you're like, okay, I'm going to hide in the planning stage. Like, because I don't want to execute, so I'm going to hide in the, the planning stage forever and just, like, plan it out and just, like, never do it. Never launch the business. Never launch your fitness career. Never start your level up journey, your spiritual journey, because you just need more and more and more and more and more. And then, like, how are you ever... Like, I could teach you... We could sit here and I could teach you how to be an actress, but like being an actress is a completely different skill set. Like imagine that, like imagine like someone saying, okay, you never have to like act. I'm just going to like tell you what to do. It doesn't work like that. Life doesn't work like that. You actually have to do it. You actually have to go and act and like act it out and like execute and like do it because it's two different things. And that is what I want you guys to understand about procrastination. It shows up in many different ways. So I want to know down below, what have you been procrastinating on? Have you been planning procrastinating? Have you been using fear as a form of procrastination? Because procrastination does show up as fear as well. You can procrastinate in fear. So why is it that we do this? Because 
we don't have the training in our brain yet the brain needs to be trained to do things the brain is supposed to keep you safe that's it that's all the brain knows to do the brain knows keep this person alive at all costs that's it they don't say okay make their dreams come true they don't say okay make them into multi-millionaire they don't say okay make them into this successful person this loving person it just wants to keep you safe and protect you and it will do that at all costs and it will do it at the cost of your deepest desires and that is where the sad part comes in because people will stay captive to their fears people will stay captive to their brain people will stay captive to their current programming of the mind your mind is a program it's a computer it needs to be rewired to fit the new you to fit your new lifestyle it has to be molded so thank you so much for watching you guys i'm available for private one-on-one -on -one coaching the email to contact me is down below if you also want courses as well click down below and yeah i am so excited to help you on this journey i would love to be of divine service to help you on this journey Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video and see you later. Bye guys.